Welcome back to BWO Daily, your source for news in sports entertainment and the world of professional wrestling from you boys at Busted Wide Open. My name is Nick Howell. And I am Sir Ian Dangerous. And recently on his podcast, Bruce Pritchard, now one of the creative executives over at WWE. In fact, he's kind of the guy who's, you would argue, the head of creative under Vince McMahon. Uh, he had some not very nice things to say about Nick Aldis, your current NWA World Heavyweight Champion, the man holding the 10 pounds of gold. Mm. Uh, unfortunately, NWA Power is not filming right now due to uh, <laughs> what's going on in the world. Uh, but uh, Aldis is still the champ. He is still the reigning defending champ. He's got a nice long reign going, although for him to get to like the levels of some of the higher-ups in terms of the record books, he's still got a ways to go. But he's got a nice long reign going on here. But Pritchard said... In his opinion, Aldis doesn't have the, quote, it factor that is required of someone in his position. What? Now, as you would imagine, Nick Aldis did not take kindly to this, responding on Twitter, Hi, Bruce Pritchard. Your ignorant comments about me had me at an all-time low, kind of like your raw ratings. Ow! However, there are a few Hall of Famers that seem to have a different opinion, some of which are even featured below. P.S. I'll be live on Busted Open Radio tomorrow a.m. Busted Open Radio, of course, being the show on Sirius XM that sounds remarkably like ours, except that we're busted wide open. Yeah. As Christopher Daniels said, it's a matter of degrees. We are busted wide open. Uh, so in this tweet, he also included a video that had, it was like a video package about him and about his reign. And he had like Mark Henry putting him over. He had stuff with him and Scott Steiner, Harley Race, Cody, of course. They had lots of footage of his all in match with Cody, which I would still say is one of his highlights of his whole career. Yes. Uh, just because of the size and the ferocity of that audience. Um, so he basically he shot back. He shot back and took shots at Raw's ratings, Nick. Ouch. So it obviously, mm. uh, what, what, what would you say? Hit a nerve, I would say. Yeah, struck a chord. <laughs> mm. uh, he did go on Busted Open this morning, and uh, he said that he took time to process it all. He said, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit and think about this, and then I'm going to come at it. He actually called Bruce Pritchard, apparently. And according to him, Bruce said, oh, no, I was talking about the Magnus character back when uh, Nick Aldis was in TNA. He was known as Magnus. Right. He was saying, you didn't really get over his Magnus. It wasn't great there. Um, and I wasn't talking about you, Nick Aldis, the Nick Aldis character from NWA. Um, and Nick Aldis said, that's BS. He says, it Look, is BS. He said, your team uploaded a video that was a separate clip, and they had a picture of me with the NWA title. The same title Harley Race, Ric Flair, and Dusty Rhodes held. The same lineage I busted my ass to rebuild and put into the modern era, and they used my name. So he's full of it, is the reality. <laughs> so he, was, he basically said, yeah, great, Pritchard, you're, you're fluffing me up on the phone. But you were talking about me now. You weren't talking about me then. Because, so, if you recall, uh, Magnus was in TNA. Nick Aldis was in TNA from 2010 to 2000. See, Aldis was there from uh, 2008, 2000. He was from uh, 08 to 15. Pritchard was there from 2010, 2013, and in charge of creative. Um, and then they both came back in 2017 for a brief stint. Um so that's where they know each other from. They work together there. And, that's, and that might have been why Pritchard was saying, yeah, when I worked with you in Impact, you didn't have the it factor. That's, that's Pritchard's out, right? Yeah, the, uh, uh, I ain't buying it, Bruce. No, <laughs> no, sorry. If anybody, you know more about Nick Aldis, the man, the various characters and roles he's played than a lot of people. Yeah, and don't tell me you weren't watching Power. We were all watching Power, and right. he's been killing the game over he's, in yeah. NWA. He has been. I, I would actually agree with that. I'd say Nick Aldis has been a very respectable champion. He carries himself in it like in it like a champion. Yes, um, and absolutely has the it factor. I, I thought I thought Tim Storm was a great champ, and then Nick Aldis came along and blew me away. Yep. Um, and that's actually what Aldis said. He says that he believes that Pritchard hasn't been paying attention. He said, I, I, don't I don't think that you've been looking at me for the last three years where I have people like these Hall of Famers, yeah. some of whom, you know, I haven't mentioned their names, but they've called me. Uh, Mark Henry, Harley Race, Dusty Rhodes. These guys have said you have that thing. You hold yourself like a real pro wrestler. Um, so he was saying when Bruce is looking at me, he, he hasn't been paying attention. Um, so he, that's why Nick Aldis, he's like, Nick Aldis said, I'm going to give him a receipt. This is, this is a, here's a, 
here's a whole uh, an invoice that I'm giving you for your stupid comments. So well deserved. Once he addressed it, he then decided to shoot back on Pritchard again, and he said that uh, I'm actually going to quote this because this is this is actually uh, I want to put it in his words because we're not going to get demonetized for this, are we? I really hope not, but he, <laughs> I, you never know with this with this platform. Um, He's, so Nick Aldis says he lives in this past sort of mentality where he thinks because he's WWE, he can just say whatever about someone. That's the only thing anyone will hear. And that will be the opinion everybody shares. Well, it doesn't work like that anymore. Times have changed. People fact check. People can go present their opposing opinion. And, you know, I'll follow up with facts if he wants to go there, because by the time Bruce was relieved of his duties in TNA in 2013, he brought the viewing figures down to like one million people. Remember when TNA was watched by one million people? Good grief. Wow. Um, he said, by the time I had the world title at the end of that year and through the start of 2014, we got the average going figures back up to back to about 1,561 1. million, which was the, uh, sorry. He said, we got the average going figures back up to like 1.3 and peaked at 1.55, which was just short of 1.561, which was the lowest raw rating in history, which was a couple weeks ago, which was the rating that came out the same week that he decided to trash me on his podcast. I guess that maybe that extra bit of rating that Rob got must be that it factor I don't have. <laughs> Shots fired. Shots fired. <laughs> Shots fired. Um, so that's so he's basically saying Bruce <laughs> tanked TNA. He brought it back up, and now Bruce is over tanking Raw, which or, I don't know, or Nick. We both, had this, we, arguably now that he's taken right. over both <laughs> Ryan shows. SmackDown. Which, you know, I, I, I got to say, Nick, we have our regular show, our live show coming up today, Tuesday at 5 p.m. Pacific and 8 Eastern. Let's tune into YouTube to see that as well. We'll be talking about this latest episode of Monday Night Raw. And uh, I'm going to be thinking back on Aldous's words here because I'm watching what Pritchard's doing with Monday Night Raw. And um, it's not good. Nope. It's, it's, it's going in the wrong direction. So interesting that this should all be coming out now. From Nick Aldis, uh, taking shots at Bruce Pritchard over in WWE is uh, now is he out of line for doing this? Nick is Nick Aldis out of line for taking these shots at Pritchard? Do you think that he's he's shooting blanks here? Or is he is he is he hitting is he hitting flesh? I think there's a handful of the OG wrestler backstage crew from that that have ascended and have their own podcasts now. You can look at Jim Ross, you can look at Bruce Pritchard, sure. you can look at Corny, you can look at there's a handful of them, right? But there, there's a handful of those. And I think that they are entitled to have whatever opinion they want to have uh, on their own shows. Sure. And whether it's right, wrong, or indifferent, whether you agree with it or not, it's their opinion. It doesn't mean it's fact. It's their, a lot of the times it's their opinion. It's their versions of stories. <laughs> Pritchard does a lot of that. Pritchard yeah. does a his lot version. of his versions his version of, of stories. They're not, not entertaining. <laughs> I do enjoy him and Conrad in a good story time session. Don't yeah. get me wrong, but I I, I want to make sure that – so this is the difference to me. Nick Ald is coming on to Busted Open Radio and being like, oh, what you, what'd you say? It's kind of like, right. like you're at a bar and you just overhear somebody having a conversation that might you have an opinion about. Wait, what? What did you say? And yeah, you end up in a bar fight, right? As we kind of were just jokingly saying, yeah. you know, Pritchard never lets history get in the way of a good story. Right. And that's – so that is – everything is to be taken with a grain of salt a bit there. But at the same time, if he says his opinion about somebody and that person is in the bar, as you're saying, Nick, and they do hear that, it's well within their right to be like, what did what did you say about me? You want to say that again? Yep. Uh, so – in this particular instance, yeah, I, I maybe Aldis is right and Pritchard has been paying attention to NWA power. But really, you shouldn't criticize it if you're not watching it because I, I think I think it's obvious to anyone watching it that Aldis jumps out of the screen Agreed. as a champion. That's Especially just, that's adding my opinion. Camille to the picture uh, and that sure. whole storyline and gimmick where she never said anything and all. Like it was very very intriguing, and it was the only thing really that I tuned in to watch NWA Power for was what's oh, Nick wow. Aldis and Camille gonna do next? Who's their next opponent gonna be? Is she ever gonna talk? <laughs> like that's that's what I watched Power for in the last few episodes, and, and I thought there was a lot of good about Power, but was. but yes, I'm I, just saying Nick that was Aldis my was main driver to go and sit yeah. down and, and watch it for an hour. 
Uh, Him and Tim Storm and that kind of relationship and, yes. and the, the split there was fantastic and question mark. stuff. But... Obviously, question mark. You have to go <laughs> tune in. for. But I, I digress. Nick Aldis was the draw of that show for me in the in the later times of it. I'm looking forward to seeing what they do when he comes back. Yeah. And for Bruce, somebody like Bruce Pritchard, who's been around wrestling for 30, 40 years, to yep. say that Nick Aldis doesn't have the it factor. Need... Oh, no. I was, I was talking about his Magnus character from 20 years ago. Get out of here. Yeah. Get out of here. Okay, I'm done yeah. ranting. Yeah, no, I, <laughs> spot on. Um, yeah, and 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 there's an argument to be made. The Magnus character, I didn't think, I didn't think Nick Aldis jumped out of the screen in TNA. No, of course not. So, I mean, that's a, that's a good fallback for Bruce to go to if that's you know if he's saying like that's what I was talking about. Well, he's, no one's gonna argue. That's not he's not wrong. It didn't jump out of the screen. Right. But Aldis shifted gears and now he's at where he's at. So, um, Aldis obviously taking this a little bit personally. But you can understand why, because, you know, the man's taking shots at his, shots at his wallet in his career. Yep. So uh, there's a part of me that sits there and goes, is this a work? But then I think, wh- how does this help either guy if it's a work? You know, you, you look at like have a WCW-esque uh, Bischoff segment with Nick Aldis coming into WWE and tearing down Bruce Pritchard. Yeah. I don't see that happening. No, no. I and, and, and I, you know, and uh, he's notoriously prickly. So it's. Yeah. Um, <laughs> It's one of those things where, like, I look at Adam Cole and everything that's going on with him right now and, and, and that whole work with Pat McAfee. Yeah. <laughs> and that makes sense because it's bringing eyes to things, right? It's bringing in eyes to a product. I don't see this bringing in extra eyes no. to NWA, which is not doing anything right now, or WWE, which isn't going to bring in all this. So I don't see this. This, to me, feels like something that's real. Controversial so. stuff to pump up numbers on something to wrestle with. Yeah, right. <laughs> Well, uh, a couple of birthdays before we get out of here, Nick. Happy birthday to Noam Dar. He's turning 27 years old today. Nick Jackson is turning 31. He has a hairline like he's 44. Mm -hmm. Uh, Sammy Guevara turning 27. So a bunch of young dudes with a ton of career ahead of them. That's that's absolutely nuts. I can't believe Nick Jackson's only 31. You got to be. Are you kidding me? Yeah. And so I wait. Aren't they twins? Or are they that? No, they no, no. Back? Matt's much younger. Oh, Matt's much okay. Younger. Uh, for some reason, I, I thought they were really closely in age or, you know, something like that. Uh, Nick, please tell your brother to take care of his neck. You guys are young. And his back. And his back. His neck, his back. Yes. His neck and his back. Yes. But... <laughs> his blank and his crack. Yes. Yes, all of that needs to be taken care of. But those are happy birthdays. And that is the news. Well, thank you, Sir Ian Dangerous. And thank you guys for tuning in for another episode of BWA, BWO Daily. As Sir Ian Dangerous said, make sure you tune in tonight for our live show. And just so you get yeah. a notification for that, make sure you pound that big red subscribe button and set your notifications to all. We will be going live tonight right here on YouTube for the last time. Because we're moving to Twitch as of Saturday, August 1st, twitch.tv slash busted wide open. We are making Mm -hmm. the jump. We will still have the channel. BWO Daily will still live here. And we have other ideas for content we're going to be bringing to the YouTube channel. So just make sure you subscribe, but also make sure you head over to twitch.tv slash busted wide open and hit the little heart follow so you get notified when we go live on Saturday for the very first time over on Twitch. Get into our Discord community and all of our social medias in the links down below. But my name is Nick Howell. You can find me on Twitter at Data Center Dude. And I am Sir Ian Dangerous. You can find me on Twitter at Sir Ian Dangerous. And we will see you guys next time.